You attended COP a decade ago. You know that nuclear energy was sort of taboo, but advocates and organizations like Generation Atomic did our best to change that. Today, dozens of countries, NGOs, and agencies are here advocating for nuclear energy. So let's spend one hour running across the conference to find out exactly where it's hiding. Time starts now. Let's run to the green zone. It's pretty much a mile away. This public facing area has free open entry and this year it's pretty geared toward Brazilian citizens with most materials in Portuguese and focused on the Amazon and local environmental issues. But I did find one nuclear mention here and here is another one. Okay. Quick, back to the blue zone. Starting at country pavilions, I found nuclear mentioned in Pakistan, Brazil, host country. China did multiple panels on their reactor development. Canada, where the Ontario grid is 60% nuclear. France, of course, which is 95% clean energy, largely thanks to nuclear. Finland, which is home to Ankalo. Sweden included nuclear in their energy talks. Ethiopia, India, and last but not least, Japan. Then we have the agency and NGO pavilions. The IIEs, Atom for Climate, Nuclear for Climate, IYNC, this Circular Economy One, World Nuclear Association, and the nuclear societies of a few different countries. I hopped into this side event with U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse just in time for him to mention uh, nuclear reforms. There are a number of areas where we are The working. U.S. doesn't have a formal delegation, but we're trying our best out here. And I stumbled across so many panels discussing nuclear in every context from business and negotiations to gender and health. We can't forget about our dedicated nuclear power wrappers who were performing all the time and killing it, I might add. Okay, quick, we only have five minutes left, so let's jump into negotiation. Here's what it looks like. And nuclear isn't mentioned out loud too often, but several countries discuss it in their NDCs as an important decarbonization strategy. And woo, okay, that finishes our hour. We are proud to see nuclear being celebrated and pushed forward at COP and are confident that this work will only accelerate as time goes on.